back to my channel. In today's video, I'm filming my luxury wish list for 2022. I am so excited about this because I've already started to add a few items to my list, well, to my collection. <laughs> so if you guys would like to see what items are on my radar and what things I'll be purchasing this year, hopefully, please keep watching. So if this is your first time tuning in, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. I will be doing more luxury content this year. I'm going to be bringing back reviews, so stay tuned to those. If you're liking the content, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down. All engagement helps my channel grow and I appreciate it equally. I am so excited for this video, but if you guys have seen any of my other wish list videos, which I will link I think the only other one I've done down below, you know that I don't stick to my wish list. So I'm the type of person, I pretty much have these staple pieces in my collection. I have casual everyday bags, clutches, going out bags, I have vacation bags, amusement park bags, I have fancy dressier work or church bags. I am this year focusing on bags that are a bit more interesting, really unique pieces, vintage pieces, discontinued pieces. If you've seen any of the unboxings, or reviews on my channel last year you would know that I'm not really into what is popular I just feel like now I probably have over like now I'm at a place where I want really unique pieces and so the two pieces that I've already added to my collection this year well one is unique one is just a discontinued vintage style so that is kind of how I make my wish list. Um, it's sometimes influenced by YouTube. It's definitely influenced by the other women or men in my life who have items that I like. But more often than not, they are interesting pieces. So let's get into the items on my wish list. I'm so excited to talk about these with you guys because there are only like a few people in my life that enjoy luxury like myself. So you guys are like mostly who I talk to. So I'm excited. Okay, so the first item on my wish list is a seasonal Chanel flat bag I do have one other seasonal two other seasonal Chanel flat bags if you didn't know I'm not really into the classic Chanel flat bag there's nothing wrong with it I do have a classic Chanel flat in red I'm just really into more interesting styles so I'm not sure what bag I would like a lot of the times what happens is I shop pre-owned mainly and if you guys would like me to do a video all about how I shop pre-owned I can definitely do that so I scour the internet and I look for pieces that are interesting, something that would look like my style, something that I would love to carry. And sometimes that is how I end up with the bags that I like. So I'm looking for another Chanel seasonal flat bag. I don't know what color necessarily, but I just want a flat bag that's more casual. I like having bags that are maybe very, very casual or very elevated, and I like to use juxtaposition in how I dress. So I am looking for a Chanel seasonal flat. Don't know what it would look like, but I know that I'd like one. The next item on my wish list is a Chanel mini square patent leather in a fun color. I would love like yellow or orange or pink. I do have a Chanel mini square in black that's patent, but that's like a classic bag to me. So if we count that as a classic flap, I technically have two. But those Chanel, actually I think I have it right now. So here's the one that I have. This is the Chanel mini square and patent leather. This is a really fun bag and I love it. I just feel like they look like pieces of candy in the patent leather. So I would definitely like to get another one in a bright color. This is like a bag that I would wear at any time of year, but I definitely want a bright colored one. The only problem is that these classic bags from Chanel are so expensive. I should also point out that my bag maximum this year is 2,500. It was the same last year. If I'm buying with my my own money I'm not spending over 2500 I just feel like for that price range I can pretty much get everything that I like the problem is these classic flaps if we're gonna count this as one they retail for like probably close to four and that's what they're going for on the pre-loved market as well so if I get one it will because I stumble upon an amazing deal because I'm not paying more than 2500 for a bag if you guys love that bag let me know down below the next bag on my wish list is the Chloe Marcy tote basket woven bag if that's the name I'll put the name across the screen I was on fashion file and I saw this bag and I want this bag if I'm going to be able to travel you all know that since the Porsche Panamera 
right, aka the pandemic, I have not been traveling just because that's not what I feel is safest for myself. But if I'm gonna be able to go on vacation this year, then I need that bag. <laughs> I just see myself in Jamaica at the resort with that tote bag and an amazing pair of tortoiseshell glasses with my sarong, a fabulous frozen beverage, and it is just the quintessential holiday bag, holiday as vacation. I don't know, I really want that one. Last year on my wish list, I had the Chloe Marcy Medium, which is a crossbody bag, but when I think about it, it's like, unless I'm going somewhere with children, which I don't have any, I don't really need a bag that large and crossbody because I've been really using small bags and I don't really go for a casual bag like that. So I do think I still want that eventually. But right now, this woven tote, honey, if she goes on vacation this year, that bag just screams holiday. I need it. So if I don't get it, it's because I won't be traveling. Okay, the next item on my wish list is a David Yearman ring and it is the Praziolite ring. So my everyday jewelry is David Yearman. I don't really wear rings day to day. Some Sometimes I do, but David Yearman has my favorite everyday jewelry because I love sterling silver. I'm not really a gold girl. I'm not really into super high-end jewelry right now because I'm not, like this is my everyday jewelry. It's pretty minimalistic, but David Yearman is my favorite. I would really love a Praziolite ring. It's a green colored gemstone and it's so beautiful. I just think it would pop when I'm wearing blacks, browns, neutral colors, when I'm wearing whites. And I really want to get into wearing an everyday ring. And I always say this every year that I wanna get more into jewelry, but I'm just so basic in terms of, I'm very minimalistic with jewelry, but, the David Yearman Praziolite ring is just, oh, it's gorgeous. So I definitely want to add that to my collection this year. The next item on my list is another David Yearman piece and it's a David Yearman sterling silver and diamond band. I just, I need some more diamonds. So this um, mother of pearl bracelet does have diamonds on it. I need a diamond ring for everyday wear. <laughs> future husband <laughs> but in all seriousness I do want a ring with some diamonds on it so there's this crossover ring that I think I'm gonna get it's simplistic it's beautiful it's understated it's me it's silver I love it I just think it would be so simplistic and elegant so that's definitely on my list and the last David Yearman piece on my wish list is an amethyst bracelet I believe amethyst is my baby's birthstone Chloe Grace so I do want to get an amethyst table collection cuff I think in a seven millimeter right now I have a five millimeter cuff and this is perfect for everyday wear for me but I do want to get a larger one that I can wear you know out to dinner like a jazzier piece so I do want to experiment with different sizes of the uh, David Yearman bangles and amethyst is a stone that I have always loved and it's my baby's birthstone so I definitely want to add that to my collection the next item on my list, shout out to my girl Dominique. On Instagram, her name is Shopping With A Passion. I met her last year, we went out to dinner and she was just a ball of fabulosity and fun. And she had this bag, I will link the vlog down below. Oh my goodness, it's the Dior Saddlebag. Now, this is a bag that was never on my radar because well, okay, let's take a step back. So when the bag first came out, I'm not sure when, there was this collection that was like red, yellow, and orange or green, and it was beautiful. I wanted it so badly. I mean, back then I didn't have any money. I definitely wasn't getting it, but that's what kind of piqued my interest with the Dior Saddlebag. And then last year or the year before, they became very popular again, and I was like, no, because I'm just not into anything that's super popular, but Dominique had this bag at dinner and it is fabulous. She had it in the black on black with black hardware. It was like black matte leather. It was so soft and sumptuous and I fell in love. I do have a black YSL bag with black hardware and it has chipped. So I won't be getting the black on black, but if I get this bag, it will be like in a light cream or tan color. The only thing stopping me is the price, okay? This bag is well over my $2,500 price limit. So I don't know how I'm getting it. I guess if I get it, 
it will be a gift. I love the curves of it. It's just such a beautiful bag. It cannot hold a lot just because of the shape. That would definitely be like a date night, dinner night bag, like going out on the town and not carrying too much. I really hope I can add that to my collection this year, but definitely a miracle because it's beyond my budget. The next bag on my list is a Gucci bag, and this is the Gucci Dionysus Wallet on Chain. This is a bag that I've wanted for a few years. My girl Simply Aisha here on YouTube did a review of this bag in the Marmont Walk, I believe, and that's when it was on my radar because I do have a Chanel Wallet on Chain, but this Gucci one is a bit bigger and it's a little more fun because it's modern and I just think that would make a really fun summer crossbody small wallet on chain and it's also reasonably priced it's about nine to eleven hundred dollars pre-owned because all I shop pretty much now is pre-owned because if I can snag a deal I'm snacking a deal so I definitely want to get that one I will probably get that for my birthday just because to me that's like a summer style bag it's just a little fun throw on and go bag and I definitely think I think I need it. That one is just something that I think you could carry anywhere on vacation. I mean, you see me, I'm putting these vibes into the atmosphere. I would love to go on a vacation this year. I would love to get that bag for my birthday. Hopefully I can get it. If I don't end up going on vacation this year, I probably won't get it because I already have a walk, so I don't need it. Okay, the next two bags on my list are essentially the same and they are YSL clutches in black and pink. YSL is becoming my new favorite brand. I have to give a shout out to my girl, Brown Girl Lux. I will link her channel down below. She loves YSL and I became obsessed with her channel this past year. And so now I'm really into YSL. I'll give you guys a sneak hint. One of my new bags is YSL. And I love YSL because they have some of the same styles that uh, higher end brands like Chanel or what have you carry, but they're a bit more understated. They're not as in your face. They're definitely less expensive and they still have classic silhouettes. So I think, I, I don't know the name of it, but it's just a regular clutch with the YSL logo on the front. I believe that's the one I want. I used to really want the YSL um, Belle Du Jour clutch. That one, it's still on my radar, I'm not sure, but I know I need, I know I need a black and a pink clutch. Next on my list is the Louis Vuitton Zippy Coin Purse. And this is a bag that I previously owned. I had a special edition one that was from maybe a few years ago and I ended up selling it. It was a Japanese collaboration. It has a silk screening on it and it started chipping. I have learned my lesson. The only pieces I'm ever going to buy that have a silk screen are like the Mon Monogram collection, which I do have a wallet, and those are the pieces that you can get uh, your initials on. But anything else, I'm not getting it because it starts chipping, so I sold that one, but I want the style back in my collection because it just looks like such a functional piece. I really do love these Zippy style wallets. They're not super like fashionable and like beautiful, but they're very, very functional and I like that. There's also another wallet or card case that I would like. Once again, it's from YSL. I'm not sure of the name, but I'll pop it across the screen. It's basically a card case on the back, but all the slots are vertical. Then you have a zip top. I really want that because I've pretty much been carrying a card case for like two years now, mainly. I mean, I do carry my larger wallet sometimes just because I'm oftentimes carrying a bag this small. I'm using my card cases. That's a larger card case that has a zippered pocket so I wouldn't have to stuff 10 cards and everything in it. So I definitely have that on my radar. It's just like back ordered everywhere. So I don't know, I kind of want to get it for myself this month, but we'll see if I can find a cute color. But that's definitely on my wish list as well because I need a new card case. The next item on my wish list is the Louis Vuitton Fragrance Travel Case. And this has been on a list that I have given to a certain someone every year for my birthday and they always decide not to get it for me so I think that people probably think that it's not necessary but I'm a Louis Vuitton collector it was the first brand besides coach that I pretty much had in my collection and I just love it so it's basically a fragrance travel case and I do have two Louis Vuitton scents and I'm sure I'll be acquiring more I just feel like I need it even if I don't necessarily travel with it I need it for my vanity or my beauty room. I just need it. So that's definitely on my wish list. And the last item is the Louis Vuitton denim shawl. 
I do have another shawl in all black, black on black, and I love it. The only problem is that it doesn't get that cold in Atlanta, so I really haven't used it much in a few years, also because I've been at home. But when I worked in a traditional office, I would take that scarf every day in the fall and winter because it's so versatile. You can use it as a wrap, you can use it as a scarf, you can use it as a blanket on the airplane. Like it's a huge, huge shawl. So I really want that in the denim. So that's on my list. And then there's one other bag that I don't want to talk about just yet because I will be purchasing it when I finally celebrate the fact that I hit 25,000 subscribers, which happened last month. Um, so there is a Louis Vuitton bag from a collection that I don't own. And when I say collection, I mean like it's not um, Vernie, it's not Epi, it's not monogram canvas. There's a bag that's on my radar that I want and I think I'll be buying it brand new. It's under my budget, so thank goodness. And it's just something fun. Normally I wouldn't buy anything this fun for that price, but for hitting such a major milestone, I do think I'll be getting that. And when I go to get that, I'll bring you guys along with me and we'll talk about it. But those are all the items that are on my wish list for 2022. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what are some of the things on your wish list. I love talking all things luxury. So definitely drop me a comment down below. I love you guys so much for watching. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.